hi guys so i said i'd give you a soulmate reading just after the little last video i did so let's do that let me give you a soulmate reading um let's get some messages from your angels here first let's see what you need to hear most your soulmate connection here Oh, this is a general, guys. You already know everything, right? Come on. You guys know. I have faith in you guys. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Aurora, you are flying high right now, which may threaten others. But don't descend, because others will soon become inspired by your example. So don't lower yourself because other people are feeling threatened. If they, you know, if they're meant to be with you, they'll rise up and meet your vibrations there. Okay, guys? So, yeah. Let's see here. I'm like this because I, I always like the cards to be pulled on camera. <laughs> Layla, spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and your intentions. Ask your angels to help you gain a positive perspective there. Okay? So we'll get one more and then we'll get some romance angels. Who doesn't like a little romance? Let's see. Celeste. A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. Good. I'm trying to move house too. So good. Yep, that'll bring in positive new energy for you guys. So the romance angels now. Let's see. Love yourself first. Always first, baby. Always first. Your self-respect makes your love makes you more romantically attractive. So that's loving yourself first. Could be a lesson that you're going through to learn to love yourself here, you know. And part of that is not being brought down um, by others just because, you know, um, you're flying high right now. You've got to love yourself no matter who it is. That was the whole, what the whole soulmate video was about, you know, friends, family and foe, <laughs> you know. So... It's about it all there. Love yourself first. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take, okay? Um, that's under the spending time alone card and meditating. So make effort to meditate as well and really look after your soul here, I feel, you know? Um, protection and things like that. So, yeah, let's see. Let's get one more here. What's going on with the soulmate connection, please? Codependency. I just spoke about that in that as well, but obviously, yeah. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So it could be that, you know, um, this person or you still have um, some sort of codependency. So if you're um working on yourself but you're still waiting on them to make you happy then that's codependency as just it could be gambling um it could be any sort of addictions there with codependency they could be drinking or anything you know it's very broad range when we're doing um a general reading here so let's see let's see here king of swords okay so they have things to say to you but i feel like they're holding back and being quite sharp here you know so i feel like maybe if you tried to communicate with them they could have cut you off with the king of swords um you know give you the cold shoulder here um it might be that they're trying to use logic over their heart so they're more in their head at the moment than um, you know, heart. So they're doing things logically at the moment. They're not really trying to follow their heart, I don't think, here. They're trying to be thinking, you know, okay, what's going to get me to this stage of my life and things like that, using their head too much, yeah. 
So we have the judgment card here, okay? So the time is coming where they're going to have to make a decision. They're going to have to reach out and speak to you here, okay? So, you know, it's on the Love Yourself First card. I would take on all these things that how they've treated you, how they was cold towards you, when you wanted to communicate here. I feel like, um, you know, you it's your time to make a logical decision, a logical judgment, you know, um, in this soulmate connection. Um, maybe that's the codependency that your heart is um, more addicted to them, you know, so you, maybe you need a balance here. But I feel at the time they was using more logic to make a judgment, to make a decision um, when leaving here. I feel like they use their head, not their heart. And I feel like um, the time's coming where they're going to be forced to communicate with you and... Um, I feel like you shouldn't be over emotional, okay? Be logical. Three of swords, yeah. Three of swords. Remember um, the heartache, but allow it, let it help you to grow, okay? Don't let it sort of make decisions for you. So if you're still heartbroken, um, I feel like you need to maybe use logic a bit more and love yourself a bit more. So if you're still heartbroken at this time or you're still growing at this time, because this three of swords is growing pains. It's about growing, you know, growing your wings here. Look, she's still hurting, but um, she's growing. So learning to use more logic in your growth. So maybe if you're loving yourself first, you're like, I love you, but right now I can't accept you if you still have um toxic energies around you or codependencies um so don't come from a place of this heartache don't make decisions from a place of heartache here okay the hermit yeah learn more about yourself enjoy this time alone because you can do this soul search and figure out what works for you what you want out of a relationship here it could be that they come in to talk to you now during Virgo season and we're going to move into Virgo season very soon, actually. I'm doing this on the 9th of August. Ten of Wands. I feel like this is when they come back, if they haven't changed, you have to learn to say no. This is the Ten of Wands and this card specifically is about learning to say no until they've got their act together, okay? So they need to get their life together. So it's now time for you to be more logical here. So you to make um, judgments from a place of clarity rather than a place of heartache, okay? So do this soul searching, learn to love yourself and understand that, you know, the more you, you know, if you, the more you say no to this sort of behavior coming into your life, then they have to step up and raise their vibrations to meet yours. OK, it's not that you'll lose them forever. Don't carry that burden. It's not yours to carry. Lay down this burden that mm, if I don't say no, I might not get another chance. No, you have to do this from a more clear perspective now. OK, guys, you have to make a good judgment here. The time is coming um, like a conversation is coming with this judgment card. Don't do it from a place either where you're so hurt that, you know, when you conversate with them, that you're, you know, quite bitter or something, um, I wouldn't say you're ready for that conversation then. You know, it's okay to let people know, look, you hurt me when you did this, or this is what I've been going through, this is what I've been up to, I've grown, I've changed. Um, so, you know, if we're going to talk, we need to start from the very beginning because I'm not that person anymore. Um, but here I feel like this is learning to say no until they're ready. OK, so it's leaving those burdens behind. It's not like, OK, I'm going to accept them back and accept their burdens back here. No, I feel like they're going to come to you during Virgo season and try and put this on you. Um, they may try to talk you round, OK, with that King of Swords. I feel like they may, might be trying to convince you, talk you round here. Um, but. I feel like you're supposed to say no if they haven't, especially if they haven't got their stuff together because of the codependency cards here. 
and the love yourself card okay so you know it's about learning to say no there so you don't take on everybody else's burden it, just remember it can be like um family or friends as well we were just speaking about this that's why i did this video knight of swords yeah they're rushing in for this conversation they're coming forward for this conversation i feel like the hermit is a time reference for me um some people will be like it's a virgo that i'm dealing with that's fine and well um if you see this video this video you're meant to see it so um here it's somebody who wants an honest conversation with you okay they do want to be honest with you um but if they come in in this knight of swords energy um, you need to sort of say no until they come back in a king of swords energy, um, you know, a higher vibration. So you've really got to read the situation, use your own, own discernment here, make a good judgment call, be honest with yourself. It doesn't mean that you won't get another chance with them. You will. Okay. You will get another chance with this person. It's somebody who has broke your heart here. Okay. Um, by not telling you the truth in the first place. So now they want this conversation and they want to be honest with you here. But I, like I said, that 10 of wands, you can't take on their burden. You can't do this for them. You can't do the work for them or they'll come in and leave again and you'll end up heartbroken again. Actually, that was a Virgo read um, that um, somebody came back during the retrograde and left again. Because you've got to use this judgment, everything you've learned up to now, okay, to trust the divine that if you say no, this person will step up. You've got to believe you're worthy of this stepping up, okay? And they will do it. They will do it. Don't worry. Sorry, I'm in the sunshine here, so I'm trying to... Justice, be fair to yourself. What are they offering you, a heart or a feather? They're expecting your heart, but they're expecting you to be satisfied with this feather. So if they come back and they're not offering, um, like I said, you good judgment, good discernment here. If they try to put more burden on you and just expecting, oh, well, you know, it was easier when I was with you because you you did all the stuff, you know, you did most of the work in this relationship. Is that really justice? Is that fair to you? No. So that's not fair that's not justice so i believe that you have had another life with this person and this is why you're sorting out this karma in this life here but when they come forward they have to be fair towards you okay they have to be fair towards you so if you accept them back and there's no fairness another tower moment will come in you know you've got to use um what you've learned in hermit mode the time on your own um the growth you've had from this um you've got to use that discernment and make a good judgment here okay um have they really changed are they putting action behind their words because how can words heal what actions broke it's just not going to work out like that so you know, you've got to really be fair to yourself and love yourself here. And if what's being offered here isn't enough, if they, you know, if it isn't right, you've got to be able to say no, because then you'll end up with heartache again. So they are coming forward to have this honest conversation. They do want to be honest with you. So that's good the star card there they do want to be honest with you so that's good um i do f believe that you you believe you're destined to be with this person um but there's steps you've got to take here okay you're on this path you're on this journey is it fair are, are they healed are you healed are you still healing you know you're still hurt from this are you bitter from this no judgment i'm just saying you know ask yourself these questions because destiny will come into play okay what's written and what's meant for you will come for you with a star card but if it's unfair it will be destined that it ends again and they leave again so that's why i'm trying to give you guys that real 
um, tough love there. Like, really, you know, do the work here because it's worth it in the end. What is meant for you will not pass you by. It's meant for you. So don't worry about that, okay? Could be an air sign for some, obviously, because there's a lot of air here. But I just feel like... Um, It's more about the mode that they're in. They're, they're thinking now to themselves, I'm going to come forward. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell them. I'm going to explain. Um, you may even feel like you know the whole truth, but you don't because of the Knight of Swords here. You don't know the whole truth. You could have even heard gossip with the Knight of Swords. Like, I heard he's with that girl or she's with that guy, you know, and it could be true on some level. But there's more to it that you need to hear from this person. And, you know, once you've heard it and listening and then you can make a good judgment. OK, so if you start to pick up red flags, then just be like, I'm not ready for this right yet. Let's take it slow. I'm not saying no forever, but I'm saying no for right now. That's the best way you can do this and go forward. Because. Although I feel like this person has a very important purpose with the star in your life and, you know, you met them for a reason. It's caused growth with this three of swords. Um, you're not supposed to accept somebody who's not worthy when you're on a path um, and on this journey. You're supposed to learn to love yourself here or it just be codependency going back to them. OK. Queen of Swords, yeah, so you do believe that, you know, this is the one person for you showing up as King and Queen of Swords. You definitely feel like they're the one for me. And that's why I say, if you believe it and feel it in your soul, then you're right. But you've got to use this good discernment and what's meant to happen will not pass you by. So please, please, please don't be worried. You know, don't just let look at her. She's not just going to let them pass by. I've been here before. I've gained some enlightenment. Okay. I've gained some clarity and some knowledge here. So you need to put that to good use to make good judgment of people. Now, the Queen of Swords is nobody's fool. So you're nobody's fool. Don't be a fool here. You know, um, use clarity, use um, knowledge, use the information they're giving to you. Maybe even seek out some information. If they tell you, I'm finished with that other person. Um, maybe do a little digging. I mean, use the internet. That's what it's for, right? That's what people are spying all over the place. So maybe somebody's telling you, look, I'm going to visit family and friends and, you know, they could still be some, hiding something. Just follow up. Make sure their actions, you know, are as honest as their words because we have their words coming through as the king of um swords that they're being honest and they're trying to be clear and then their actions are showing up as a knight so maybe there's just something there that isn't matching up with the words and the actions so use discernment and be honest with yourself here you know because your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive this self-respect that you're gaining with the queen of swords i uh -uh, like nobody passed here I ain't letting nobody pass this unless they're showing, you know, their actions are the same of their words here. That's good judgment. And it's fair to yourself with the justice card here. You've done this soul searching with the hermit. You're learning this lesson and you're learning to say no and not carry other people's burdens. And so you should because you've grown with this three of swords. But that is some growing pains. That hurt. Nine of Cups. So this is what you wish for. This is what you want. I mean, you have two wish cards here. Okay. And it's saying that you're getting it. But use discern discernment and trust. Trust here. Okay. Have faith. So, you know, this Nine of Cups is always my, be careful what you wish for because it's that Midas touch, you know. So... You know, if you're wishing for somebody to come back, make sure they're correct. They come correct is all I'm saying. OK, guys, please make sure they come correct, because sometimes when you wish for something, if you wish for everything you touch to turn to gold, 
and then you turn your water into gold and you turn your food into gold like King Midas he turned his child into gold it's not as great as it sounds I'm a parent I sometimes wish I could turn them into gold <laughs> and wear them back in but yeah guys good luck really be careful what you wish for and be honest with yourself use discernment 